it's a great privilege for us to get to go and help people when they are in need. The Upstate doing its part to feed thousands of meals to people affected by Florence. Several Spartanburg County churches have volunteers in the city of Florence right now. They were dispatched from First Baptist Spartanburg this morning. 7 News' Nikkel Smith is live there tonight. She has more on this feeding mission. Nikkel. Yeah, Tom, this is all part of an effort where folks right here in the Upstate are trying to help first responders and families impacted by the storm. We want to communicate the love of Jesus, but we want to do that not just with words. We want to do that with our actions. Actions like feeding people in desperate need of help. Volunteers left First Baptist Spartanburg for Florence Monday as South Carolina communities deal with impacts from a storm bearing the same name. We are the host for a unit that has all the equipment necessary to feed up to 20,000 meals per day. It's the upstate feeding unit of the South Carolina Disaster Relief, projected to feed 10,000 meals thanks to volunteers. 15 left this morning and five more were meeting them there. The volunteers from churches all over Spartanburg County, including Roebuck Baptist, Bellevue Baptist in Woodruff, and the mill off Anderson Mill Road. We usually go to places that have absolutely no power. Sometimes there's no water. There, all restaurants are closed. Grocery stores are closed. Help coming from miles away to help our neighbors near the coast. Upstate resident Joshua Barnes is part of a grassroots group taking donations for storm victims. We transport to larger drop-off locations to where we load into larger trucks and take in to the affected areas. Areas in need getting help from the upstate. People are stripped down to, you know, nothing left. And they are always so grateful and thankful for the volunteers that come. And so the truck that they use to pull that feeding unit from here at First Baptist Spartanburg is also a shower truck. So it has these stalls in there that the first responders can use as well. So a lot of help to go around. And if folks at home want to help as well, just look for this story on WSPA.com. Tom. Yeah, they're providing some really important basics, Nikkel. So how long is this feeding team planning to uh, be around the city of Florence and helping these folks out? They tell us that they'll be there as long as they're needed, Tom. They say the volunteers can be switched out, but as far as how long the kitchen itself stays there, that depends on the American Red Cross, who they're working with, Tom. Yeah, just an example of the volunteerism that's going to help get folks through this disaster. Thank you, Nikhil.